What's up guys, my name is Ace, and now that Modern Warfare 2 has been officially confirmed and announced, we are starting to see a few more leaks and details come out, and one of the leaks that came late last week was from the Ghost of Hope, and this is apparently Modern Warfare 2 is going to have a firing range feature where you can go in to test your weapons out. And I'll admit, this is a feature that I fully expected to see in Vanguard this year, and it never did arrive, and the reason for that is Sledgehammer Games has always had a firing range in their main titles. This started with Advanced Warfare, we also saw it in COD World War II, so it seemed sort of obvious that we would see it in Vanguard, and that never happened. So I am really happy to see this leak that apparently we will be seeing a firing range in Modern Warfare 2. However, not all firing ranges are created equal, and while it was nice to have firing ranges in some previous Call of Duties, like the ones I mentioned, I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement with those, so today I'm going to be sharing sort of my firing range wish list. What does my perfect firing range look like, and what do I hope to see with Modern Warfare 2's firing range? And let's just start it off with one of the biggest things that I always felt was missing from the previous firing ranges with Advanced Warfare as well as COD World War 2, and this is accurate damage values being displayed in the firing range. When I shoot a target, I want to see exactly how much damage that bullet dealt when I hit that target. I find this is very important if you're actually trying to find out the potential of your gun and if you're mixing up attachments, especially if they have attachments like Vanguard that will significantly change your damage values. It's nice to be able to hop in and just see that for yourself, and that would go a long way into improving our weapon loadouts. And going off of that, if we are going to be showing damage values, keep in mind with Modern Warfare 2019 as well as Vanguard, we had different body multipliers, so the damage would vary depending on where in the body you were shooting that target. And I would hope that this is accurately displayed as well. Not just the base damage that you're dealing that would only apply to one area of the body if you're shooting a real target. I'd like to know that if I shoot someone in the foot at 10 meters, I'm dealing this exact amount of damage, whereas if I'm shooting them in the torso at the same distance, how much damage am I dealing to the torso? And with this, this sort of brings me to the next thing on my wish list here. I hope the targets that we have access to to shoot at are not just going to be the standard sort of reactive targets that you shoot and they like fall down and pop back up. It's like a piece of plywood or a piece of paper or something like that. I hope we see a good range of targets, like still include those targets that are just made out of plywood, but I'd also like the ability to have actual character models spawn in in the firing range. So spawn an actual bot out in the firing range at a certain distance and just have it so that bot stands still, obviously doesn't shoot back at you or anything. And again, this would allow you to hit those different body multipliers to see how much damage you're dealing to each part of the body. And just in general, it would be a much more one-to-one -one representation of what you'll be seeing and how your gun will be performing against an actual enemy player. Now with these bots, I would also hope that they would spawn at a wide variety of ranges. Whether you can make it so you select what range the bots are going to pop up at. Maybe have some sort of a menu or a selection where you can decide do you want that bot to spawn at 10 meters or 50 meters or 100 meters even. Either let the player decide that or just make sure those bots are naturally spread out at good intervals throughout the firing range. And this way we could also see where our damage drop off points are, at least generally where they're going to be and how much damage you're dealing at close range versus long range with your gun. Next up for my Modern Warfare 2 firing range wish list, I'm hoping swapping attachments will just be seamless. Just as if you were in a regular game, you want to swap out your loadout, maybe change a few attachments here or there. After you do that, I'd like to have just a quick press of the button, boom, my gun is now a different gun with those new attachments, and I can start testing that out. If I want to swap an attachment out, it should just be quick and seamless. Now after that, there's one big thing that I feel has been missing the, from the firing ranges from COD World War II and Advanced Warfare, and I feel like it's something that's often overlooked when it comes to firing ranges in video games. And this is a recoil pattern wall that you can use and you can control as well. So my idea for this is just a big, blank, open wall that's very tall so it can deal with a lot of recoil if a gun really likes to climb a lot. Also wide enough that you can do multiple plots and compare them side by side and just make it so the bullet impacts on that surface are very clean, so you can see exactly where each bullet is impacting, because it is one thing to be shooting down range at a firing range and kind of getting a feel for the recoil of a gun, but it's another thing entirely if you're trying to fine-tune setups and see exactly what your recoil pattern is going to look like and how it compares with using a different attachment on that gun, for instance. 
This will allow you to really fine tune your setups. If you can shoot one recoil pattern with one attachment combination, then you could go in, swap out a couple attachments and do another recoil comparison directly side by side with that previous one that you did. As an additional feature in my sort of perfect world with this recoil wall, I'd love to have full control over when it resets and you get like a blank slate, you can erase all of the previous recoil plots and start from scratch, rather than having that happen every time you switch out attachments or just randomly over time or something. It would be nice to have an option in the menu where you could just select like clear recoil wall. Now with this one, I am getting a bit nitpicky. This is something that I know I would use a whole lot more than the average player out there because it would really work well for my job and what I do here with my breakdowns. But even for the average casual player out there, I think this could go a long way. If they wanna see which grip is better for recoil, for instance, they can literally just go into the firing range, try one grip, fire recoil plot, swap over to the other grip and fire another plot right next to that. And they can just look at them side by side to find out for themselves which one is best. And with that, so far, these are the main features that I'd love to see in the firing range with Modern Warfare 2. However, all of this so far has just been designed around testing the functionality of a weapon setup. And I would really like to see them take things a little bit farther and add some more depth to the firing range and make some mini games out of it. Essentially, I'd like to see the return of the trials type system from Modern Warfare 2019. And with this, have it so you have different types of targets popping up in different orders with a time limit and a score that you have to beat and make it a mini game that perhaps offers you some form of reward in game if you reach certain milestones with each one of the trials. I think something like that would be a great addition on top of just the standard firing range. Of course, I wouldn't want to be forced to only have access to trials like we see in Modern Warfare 2019. I'd also like to just be able to load up a firing range just to mess around and test things out. But as an additional feature, I think Trials would be a great addition to the firing range. And honestly, I fully expect that at this point. I feel like they are going to sort of build off of the Trials that they created with Modern Warfare 2019. And that's something they could easily integrate into the firing range. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up for my firing range wish list for Modern Warfare 2. I'm personally really excited to hear that it's likely that we will be seeing this firing range coming, although I should just clarify here, this is still based on leaks at this point. It hasn't been officially confirmed, but this is where I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. First up, what do you think about the idea of having a firing range return to Modern Warfare 2? Is that a feature that you would use frequently, or do you feel like you just wouldn't use it much at all? And on top of that, what sort of features would you like to see included, assuming this leak is true and we will be seeing a firing range? Are there any features that I didn't mention here that you think would be a great addition? If so, please just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.